So here's a cool little component, the resize observer. Imagine this, you've got a div and you've got something like full width on that div and then you've got a background of blue and I'm gonna do background blue just so that you can see that this div uh, is in fact a full width div and that I'm not telling fibs to you and let's set a height of that equal to 100 pixels. So save that and there we go. We've just got a basic div here that's going to change size based on the screen size. Now, if you want to observe that div changing size, usually it's really difficult. There's all this like weird JavaScript that you have to do in order to get that to work. And you have to add listeners yourself, or we can use Quasar's resize observer component. Check this out. Let's come in here and then whack inside of there a Q dash resize dash observer component. I'll press tab, save it. And now we can start observing this div. All you have to do is make this component a direct child of whatever you want to observe and it will just work. So now we can say at resize is equal to on resize. Then if I come down here and say setup, and then we'll just return here on resize, copy that, and let's do a function for this. We'll say const on resize is equal to a function and we'll pull out of there the dimensions. So these dimensions are going to give us the width and the height. We'll just do a console.log, save it, and now we're good to go. Whenever this div resizes now, we're going to get a console.log. Check it out. Boom, there we go. We got a width and a height, and it shows you that width as it changes. So if you have some sort of an element on the page or something else on the page that basically needs to change because of the size of this div, you can now do it easily. And if that change happens to be a really expensive change, then you can do something like this. Debounce and set it equal to 2000 milliseconds, for example. And that means that this is going to get called, this at resize will get called with a 2000 millisecond debounce. So check it out. I can resize this and nothing happens, but I stop and then it comes through. So it's basically going to wait to see if it hasn't happened for 2000 milliseconds. Really, really handy. So that just makes it a little bit more efficient. And honestly, that's about it. Really, really handy component, but super simple to use. You just need to add it as a direct child of another element and it will just work. So that is the Q Resize Observer. Hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you in another one.